Hi. So, today's kind of more of a laid back vlog. I'm gonna, I'm downtown here in Wellsville. I've got, got a couple errands to do. I'm gonna eat lunch. And then I'm gonna, then I'm gonna go check out a site that I discovered for, that I took some cool pictures of yesterday and I wanna show you guys. So, my first stop is here at Walgreens to get some water for making coffee and a couple other things, some face moisturizer. And then I'm going to go eat lunch and then I'll show you guys that spot. First, I gotta come back to my car and grab my mask. Leave this camera here because I don't want to take it into. Uh, Walgreens. All right, see when I'm out. So I guess Walgreens doesn't have distilled water. I'll have to make another stop before lunch. Probably go to Giant. Maybe Tops. We'll see. All right, Giant had distilled water. Uh, the reason I use distilled water for coffee is because I use this thing called third wave water, which is a packet of minerals that you add to your, to distilled water to create, because every water has uh, some dissolved minerals in it, except for distilled water. And the, the, the kind of dissolved minerals affects how your coffee brews. So if you use third wave water packets with the, their minerals in them and distilled water, you can control what the distilled mineral content of your water is and make that consistent for a better cup of coffee. So that's why I needed distilled water. All right, now I'm gonna head to probably Burger King for lunch. Yeah, um, what comes on the Bacon King? It comes with mayonnaise, ketchup, cheese, and bacon. Okay, um, can I have the Bacon uh, bacon King with no mayonnaise? Okay. And, uh, medium fries. Absolutely. Can I get you anything else? Uh, nope. 1094 on the first one, please. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so I'm done with lunch, and I'm headed over to this place that I found yesterday that's like a really cool for shooting like video and stuff, or not video, photos and stuff. I'd never been back there before, and I noticed something, and I figured I'd check it out, and then now I'd let you guys know. It's this old abandoned rail car right next to the railroad. It's just like sitting there up on blocks old, rusted, torn apart inside. It's pretty cool. I think it's time to talk. Cool, huh? You like that little B-roll sequence? Hopefully it turned out pretty well. It's just like an old abandoned, it might be, might be like a caboose or something, I think. Old abandoned rail car, just sitting here. Railroad's like right over there. Yeah, 
I'm not sure why it's here, but it's pretty cool. All right, I'm headed back to my car. Also, quick side note, I ended up walking down this alleyway because there were some, some people and I was kind of uncomfortable walking in front of a lot of people. But like, I've never been back here before. It's like this big open, this little alley down there that opens up into this big space here. And I, I don't think I've ever been here. Lived in this town all my life. There's still some little bits and pieces that I've never really explored. I need to walk around town more. Because every time I do, I find little things like this. Or like that rail car. You know, just little, little bits and pieces of interesting areas around Wellsville that I wouldn't have that I wouldn't have seen otherwise if I had just been like walking down Main Street or whatever. That should be a vlog sometime. Just me like exploring Wellsville. Finding cool, interesting places. Alright guys, I'm gonna end it here. Be sure to like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one.